Virgin Islands resident are of African descent. The law acknowledges this by requiring the public education system to teach our history and culture from kindergarten to 12th grade. Doesn't the purposeful neglect of the student's identity contribute to psychological aberrations like low self-esteem? What are your thoughts concerning our public schools' neglect of our students being exposed to their rich history and culture like the children of other races? As the proverb says, if you don't know where you come from, you don't know where you're going. It's important for us to know our history. And it's important for it to be infused in our children from the earliest ages. There is a cultural education department at the Department of Education, but as far as I know, it is staffed by one individual. We need to make sure that throughout the classroom curriculum, that issues of culture and our history are uh, incorporated, whether it is in math, in, in reading, or in any of the subjects. As I said earlier, when we talk to students, they do not see the relevance of their education. If we can tie our history into the core of our curriculum, they will begin to be able to understand the rich history from which they come, and yes, it will build their self-esteem. But we have to put the, our money where our mouth is. We cannot have one person, and she's doing a great job, but we cannot just have one person. This is a change in the entire way we teach our students. It is incorporating our African history, our Caribbean, our wider Caribbean history, and of course our Virgin Islands history throughout our curriculum. I don't believe that that even there's even a course in Virgin Islands history in our in our schools anymore. Not only that, but when our teachers come from wherever they come to work in our schools, they need to be taught Virgin Islands and African history, and they need to know that this must be incorporated into our what they teach our children. We do not do that kind of orientation for our teachers. And so if we don't invest in that kind of education for our teachers, it will never reach our students. So it must begin with the teachers. It must be incorporated fully into the curriculum, in addition to even some of the everyday challenges that we face, so that they can see the relevance of the math, of the reading, of the science, to our everyday lives. That is what makes education relevant, and the history, yes, it is critical to building the self-esteem and uh, of our students and building their self-worth and making them see that they can accomplish anything, that their potential is entirely unlimited. So yes, Mr. Mr. Moorhead, it is critical and we must put our money where our mouth is and make sure that it is incorporated fully into our school system. I, I hear your question differently, Mr. Moorhead, and I hear your question from the issue of pathos of the children of the Virgin Islands, who they are, where they've come from. And we know by a matter of science, the children of color learn differently of children of different, outside of the barrier of the definition of color. And what we have not yet done in education in the Virgin Islands is teach and reach children of color through their pathos. It, an example of this benefit of that is there's a gentleman in New York City by the name of Jeffrey Canada, Charter Schools, being credited with the entire transformation of the borough of Brooklyn because of his ability to reach boys and children of color through the pathos of their learning capacity. And that's what we have to do in the Virgin Island. It's just not about adding courses to the curriculum and giving orientation sessions. We are not communicating well with the children of the Virgin Islands in order to teach them so that they can be educated and learn and become successful. Be 
being a teacher, I understand and recognize that it is very important for the children of the Virgin Islands to know where they came from, more importantly, where they're going. So it is not a question of a if. I taught from 1987 and we've been going run around with this issue for all this time as far as getting you know, VI history and the teaching of our culture into the, in the school system. We just have to make it happen. We've been talking about it too long. We just now have to make it happen. Another thing we have to do is teach children critical thinking. Our teaching, our education system has gone to one where we are just preparing children to pass tests. And, and we've got to go beyond that. I truly believe that, and I agree, we have to know where we were, where we're going, and we have to ensure that our children, and, and part of it is the family. In the family in the home, we have to teach our children who they are, and not necessarily always wait for the school. We as a parent, the mentors, the, the neighbors, we have to teach them as well who they are. Thank you. The answer is of course. We have a very rich history. We have a very rich and beautiful culture. And I agree with Ms. Barnes. We need to stop talking about it and do it. It's simple as that. Years ago in St. Thomas, many of the elementary schools celebrated various history days. And we're teaching the children around these historical days about the rich history and culture. And we've come away from that. It has to be done. It's common sense. You don't need to have a science degree to understand that our children, as well as adults, need to understand where we came from and where we're going.